I'm a landscape painter. I've been painting in the bush for more than 30 years now. Scott Maher is a young artist whose work has really caught my eye in recent years. I see a lot of art and it's unusual to see the skill, originality and aesthetics come together, especially with a young artist. Scott is intensely passionate and excited about his work and the direction in which it's going. It's this unique blending of pyrography, natural pigments and nature-based subject material that I really love about his work. I grew up with my grandmother, so I sort of grew up with that connection to an older period. There was obviously the, the wider generation gap than you would experience with a parent. So I'd actually heard about poker work. And um, I suppose it had always been in the back of my head because when I was studying, I thought, wow, I'd, I could really etch into the wood with pyrography. You could really draw that. So I started with just soldering irons. And there was something about it. There was something about watching the heat sear into the wood and chew right into it. Yeah, there's a good batch of it right here. Yeah, here we go. It's beautiful. This is actually a really good set. It's, um, it's hardened really nicely, which means when I cook it up, it'll be really gluggy. I mean, look at this here. Like piles of it. Yeah, the thicker and gooey it is, especially with meltdown um, and application onto the page, uh, the deeper it looks and then the more natural it will look on the page. Some beautiful berries right here. Beautiful colour. That'll release beautifully in warm water. But see how easily it crumbles down? So you crumble this down and then um, you cook this. You can, especially the yellows, um, once it's crumbled right down, whack it in the frying pan and you cook it up and you get anything from a burnt umber to an orange. That's what they used to do in the day of the Celts, anyway. It's still feasible now. Look at that, white. Just in a space of here. Yellow, red, to oranges, to a grey, almost through to a white. Now this is a thing that is one of my biggest inspirations. This is a leaf that I found just sitting on the, the river bed, underneath the water. To me, this is, this is I mean, a, a perfect layout for a landscape. I mean, you've got the rocks here, the beautiful ochres, and all the crevices and crags, and goes up to the beautiful greens of the bush surrounding. And this is the landscape that I'm talking about where ambiguity is the new realism. It's exquisite. One of the main things I've noticed about uh, pigments in the river is that they're weathered down. So a lot of the loose stuff is has been washed away. Uh, so you get, I suppose, in a sense, more of a pure pigment. And see how it's bleeding off onto my hand so easily. That's so it's thing, it's this continuous um, eroding of it that I suppose keeps the pigment in, its, in a pure state. 